guys, my name is Jenna. Welcome back to my channel. Today it is a super dreary day outside. We are getting Hurricane Delta's outer bands and it's supposed to rain all day long. So I figured it was a perfect day to repurpose an old vase that I had bought from Walmart previously. Yes, Walmart, I did not thrift this. Um, I like this guy because of its size and I've been having a really hard time finding big vases at thrift stores lately. Our thrift stores here have been very picked over. So, um, <laughs> so I got this guy and figured it would be really easy to kind of repurpose. This guy was $12. I will link it below, but you can use anything that you find from the thrift store. It doesn't have to be this big. I just kind of wanted more of a statement piece. Um, today we're going to be going for the restoration hardware pottery barn type look. These vases go for upwards of $150 to $200. So uh, the fact that we can do this for under $30 is really awesome. Um, I'm kind of trying to go for like a more white aged terracotta look. Um, I have done this project before on my Instagram. If you haven't already followed me on there, I will leave a link in my description box because I do do a lot of DIYs on there as well. Um, this was the one I did on my Instagram and I love how it came out. I was going for kind of more aged stone as opposed to terracotta, but this guy I feel like looks really real and um, it sits on our living room coffee table and is awesome for decoration. That being said, this project is not good for high touch um, items, nothing you'd put, want to put water in or have to wash or anything like that. It's good just for decoration. Um, you could also do this for maybe some lamps that aren't that are in like a dry place, um, like a lamp base. I've seen a lot of aged lamp bases at Pottery Barn and Restoration Hardware as well. So that's something you could do. I did get this guy from Goodwill. I will insert the original picture here. Uh, this guy was $4. So you can definitely go the thrifted route. I just saw this one at Walmart and was like, that's so big and pretty and I want to repurpose that. So um, yeah, let's get into the materials and start the project. All right guys, so this is what you're gonna need for the project. First are some disposable gloves. These are definitely optional, but I just didn't wanna get the joint compound all over my rings and stuff, so it made it a bit easier. Um, next is the joint compound. I got this stuff from Walmart for like $6, and I've also used it for about two projects now, and it's only halfway gone. Um, it also goes on pink and dries white, which I really like, so you can kind of tell when it's dried. Um, so that's that. And then next we have some paper towel. You will be using a lot of paper towel, so I would make sure you have a full roll. And then these are all some paints from Walmart. I'll link the specific colors below, um, but these are the ones I use to kind of get the coloration that I had. And then this guy, I feel like is the game changer. It's the one that I use the most of, um, the Waverly Mineral Chalk. I got this at Walmart, so I'll link that as well. And then finally, you'll just need some clear acrylic sealer. I wanted mine to be matte, um, so that will be our finishing touch, and that's it. All right, now for the fun stuff. We are going to take our joint compound and just smear it all over this bad boy. So when you do put on your compound, you do want to think of the way you're putting it on. I personally don't like putting it on up and down. You kind of want to go with like the grain of your vase. So I put mine on horizontally. And yeah, then you're just going to kind of do that until the whole thing is covered evenly. Alright, so now that I have the whole thing covered, I'm actually just going to go through with my hands and kind of give it some texture by pressing on it with the gloves. I feel like the gloves actually really do help to kind of give it that crinkly look. So I'm just going to keep doing that all around the vase and then I'm actually going to let it dry for an hour and come back and do the same thing. 
All right, guys, I know this is a little weird, but after an hour, the joint compound is a bit more tacky, so you're able to give it some more texture. So I just give it some more taps with my fingers, and I try to zoom in so you could see the difference, but trust me, it really does give it some more texture. So here's how that part turned out. We are gonna let it dry overnight and paint in the morning. All right, sorry for the dark light, but this is how it looks all dried, and now we're ready to paint. So next, we're just gonna put our acrylic paints um, on a plate and then get a bowl of water. The key here with the water is you want to make sure that you don't use too much because the joint compound is water sensitive so it can cause joint compound to kind of break apart and it'll ruin your texture. So you really just want to get a little tiny bit and then I roll the paper towel so it's like on a drier part of the paper towel so it's really just a tiny 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 bit of water enough to blend it. And as you can see here I think the key to making it look a is to use a combination of both dark and light paint. So I'm using the dark brown and the really lighter color um, and that really gives it good contrast and kind of blends everything to make it look really authentic. So I'm just going to keep doing this and repeating this process until I feel like the vase is how I want it to look. Also something to keep in mind is I don't always cover all of the joint compound. I definitely like the look of leaving a little bit of white showing through so you can see the texture and it really makes it stand out. So sometimes I just kind of rub the paint around, not making sure it gets into all the cracks because then as you can see it kind of gives it that age look by that white showing underneath. All right, so this is it all finished. I love how it came out. I feel like it really does look real and authentic with those dark and white kind of contrasting spots. All right, so lastly, we're just gonna take our clear acrylic sealer and lock everything in there, give it a couple of coats outside so it can dry. And one thing I did find is it does kind of stink, so I let it dry outside for like a whole day so the smell wasn't brought back inside. All right, so here's the finished product all styled on my bedside table. I think this would look super good like on a console table or in the center of a dining table, just anywhere you'd wanna put a statement piece. All right guys, that is it for today's video. I hope that you found it helpful. I'm seriously so happy with how this guy came out. It really looks like a vase that I was staring at in Pottery Barn the other week. So super proud of that. I hope that you guys can try something similar. If you do, let me know how it goes in the comments. And again, thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. It really does help my channel. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.